Today we're gonna to start our clay cylinders. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is gather some supplies. You're gonna get a clay board that you're gonna roll on. You're gonna get two slats that will help you get the right thickness. You're gonna need a wooden stylus, a rolling pin, and a pattern. So this is the rectangle that we need to cut out to make our cylinder. If you notice, when you get your clay, it is almost the right width but it needs to get a lot wider. So we're gonna roll two different ways. To begin with, you're gonna put it in the long way and you want to roll it until you get past the pattern. So I'm gonna just roll this a couple of times. When you roll the clay, you don't want to press really hard. You're just trying to make it a little bit wider. Maybe do it a couple of times and then see how it is. So this is now wide enough. Now I'm going to rotate my clay so that it is like an H. See how the slats and the clay make an H? Now my job is to make this long enough, but I also need to make sure that I roll it so that it is thin enough. So I'm going to roll a couple of times and then I'm going to flip my clay over. You wanna to continue to flip so that the clay doesn't get stuck to the board. You'll find the first time you roll, you'll really kind of see the clay stretching. But if you continue to roll, then you're going to notice that it kind of gets stuck. Okay, and I just want to keep rolling. At this point, I'm going to roll until I hear the slats. So you can see how the rolling pin is now hitting those slats. I also want to make sure that it's not stretching anymore. So I'm gonna roll it a couple of times. Did you see how it moved just a little bit? And then I'm going to just make sure I flip it one more time. Let's see if I can roll it anymore. That seems like it's the right size. Once this fits, the next step is to cut out your rectangle. You want to use one of these slats to help you cut your clay so that you have a nice straight edge. When you cut the clay, make sure that you are holding the wooden stylus straight up so that you get a straight cut. And I'm pressing all the way down to the board. And I'm going to keep these pieces because I can use them for the bottom. And now that I have my clay cut out, I'm going to take the pattern off. My job right now is to slip and score those short ends. So I'm just going to lift it up and scratch the ends. On both sides. And then I'm going to add some water to it. This is how we get things to stick when we use clay. And notice I am scratching on the thickness of the clay. I'm not scratching on the part that you can see. Once you have your clay rolled out, you can get some water. You don't wanna do it while you are rolling out your clay because then it tends to spill. It makes your job a little bit more difficult. So I'm just dipping my fingers in. All right, so I'm gonna take my ends and I'm going to lift them up and I'm gonna to touch them together. Once these are sort of stuck, I can use my fingers to sort of put the other parts where they belong. I can also flip this over so that I can reach this other side. Now I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time smoothing this seam. I'll just go through it just slightly. I'm not hardly pressing at all. One of the biggest mistakes that happens is kids overwork the seam at this point when the clay is really soft and that makes it get all funky. It gets really thin and then it stretches it out. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do. I can always go back and add work on my seam later. The next thing I want to think about is the shape. I want this to be as round as possible. This is pretty round. And then I have some clay here. It's a little bit short. I'm going to roll this a little bit wider so that it will fit on the circle. Once I have that shape, I like to flip this over and put it on the bottom. 
and I'm going to take my wooden stylus and I'm just going to trace around it. I'm not going to cut at this point. I don't want to move the shape of the clay. So now I'm going to flip this over very carefully and I'm going to put the part that was down, oops, it's kind of stuck, up. So I can now cut this out. Doing my best to follow the line. And then I'm going to slip and score. This time when we slip and score, we're going to do the top edge here and then we are gonna do around the outside. So I'm just scratching lightly. Doing the same on here. Roughing it up so that it will stick. Now I'll add some water, the glue. And then I flip this over and set it on top. So I pick it up and set it on top. I'm just pressing down on the edge. I'm not pressing in the middle. That will make it collapse. You should be able to see a little bit of water oozing out from the seam. And then I can flip this back over and any of this leftover on this side, I notice there's a little bit of lip here. Instead of smearing that up, you're gonna take your wooden stylus and you're just gonna carefully cut that off. You can go all the way around your piece if you need to, to make a nice, clean edge. And when you do that, it sort of helps get rid of that seam. So now I have one side done. I'm going to repeat and do the other side. Now that my cylinder is done, it is time to store it. You should have a small board with your name and class code on a piece of masking tape in Sharpie. And then you're going to get a plastic bag. You're going to open up the plastic bag, find the middle, so this little scrunched up spot is where the middle is. That's gonna go on the top of your clay. And then you're gonna pull this down. You want to lift up your clay and make sure that the bottom is covered. So you're just gonna take the plastic and kind of fold it over and twist it. And then this goes on top of the board. Therefore, we know which one is yours. When you carry this, it's very important that you support the clay and you hold the board. Now that you have stored your cylinder, it is time to clean up your space. One of the most important things for you to do is to take all of your clay pieces and scrunch them together. I like to call this the clay vacuum where you find all the little bits and pieces that are on your board and you clean them up so that they don't end up on the floor. Clay is a lot of fun for us to work with, but it's really a lot of work for janitors, so we need to do our best to clean up all the clay before we pick up our boards. Once you have all of that clay picked up, then you can start putting your tools away. Just match them in the bin where you found them.